Okay, we're taking. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome. We're going to get nice and warm. Keep our core tight. We're going to swing our legs in and out. Keep your core tight. If you need assistance, you need the wall. If you find you need extra balance. But if not, all right. Five, two, three, two, and one. Of course, I do encourage you to keep your cameras on. One, so we can see just how hard you're working. And also, should we form correction or anything else? All right, so three, two, and one. Excellent. Here we're going to go for a back lunge to a, to a knee hug. So back lunge here, hug the knee in. Back, hug the knee in. Here we're going to go for two more here. So two and one, two and one. All right, this side. So just six here. Two. And how you doing? Exhale, you squeeze in. Good, breathing in, breathing out. Excellent, from here, we're just going to go, so we're going to go for the easy inner ankle touches. Nice and wide, we're just reaching in. Okay, about 40 seconds here, just going to check. Make sure everything is working smoothly. So keep going, 30 seconds left. It seems, oh, there we go. Excellent, all right, let's keep going. 15 seconds, 50, 40. And three, two, and one. Back with leg space. Here, you keep your core tight. Pushing in, coming out. Challenging. So grab the heaviest that you have. If you're using a 35, you have a 25. Definitely use it. And we're going to start in three, two, and one. So reach and come up. The same thing, if you find the motion easy, make sure you do the full range of motion. Make sure you're coming all the way down and all the way up. Make sure you're not using your back and we're not doing this. We're squatting down, very key. And four, three, two, and one. That's it. Here, reaching forward. We got our mats. We're just going to go for some nice and easy hip thrusts. So, here on our backs, 
Like that. And coming out. One. Here we're going for 12. Two. Three. Four. Inhales, you come in. Exhales, you come out. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. One more. And pull. Excellent. So here, we go from tricep push ups. So, full range of motion. No elbows wide, no hitch in your neck or nose forward. On your chest to push the ground first. So, here, let's go for 10. So, the blow nice and tall. And down. Exhale, you press. Inhale, you come in. And again, chest to ground every time. So, not this or this, but chest to ground. Pressing all the way up, full range of motion. If you're finding these easy, and play your really good shirt, you're doing a full range of motion. Chest and hip cage to the floor, not just your nose, not just your chin. And one more for me, push. Excellent. Right back to sumo. All right, shoulders back, nice and tall. Inhale, you come in, exhale, they push. 11 more. Push. Five more. Five. Push. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Back to the hip thrusters on the floor. Breathing in, breathing out. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, breathing in, breathing in, two, and one. Perfect. Looking over, back those tricep push ups. Again, full range of motion. Chest to ground, coming up. Don't do this, don't flare out. Don't hit your neck or chin forward. Keep your head back and lean with your chest. Coming down, coming up, full range of motion. Starting now. Chest to ground, coming up. All the way down, all the way up. Three more for me. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Here, we're going to go back to knee leg exercise. We're going to go for a goblet squat and a kick. This one, once you've got a medium or lighter weight, be 10 pounds, maybe eight. All right. Here, we're going to go for a squat to a kick. I'm going to go for a 16 total. You go for as many as little bit as you like. So squat down and push. Keep part of the squatting. Don't do this, because that's not a squat. Squatting down. Kicking out. Make sure you check your own form. Make sure you do a nice full squat. So again, none of these, but more like this. And all the way down on your hip, level with your knees as you kick out. So here got eight more. Eight, seven, six, five. You hit level with your knees. Four. Three, two, and one. All right, back on our mats. We're going to some side knee ups. So here, leg straight. Lifting up, coming in. This is the challenge. Put your hand down and press into the floor to assist. I have seven more to go. So seven, push, six. Do whatever four and five works for you. Four, three, two, and one. Other side. And one, two, four, five, six, 
We're going to exhale to full seven. Breathing in, breathing out. Eight, nine, and ten. Actually, your tricep push ups, now your tricep overhead extension. Standard and heavier weight. You don't need to do 25 pound kettlebell. Being used there, you have lying around. So here, go for a full extension. One, two, three, four. I'm going for 15. You can go for as many as you like. Sitting here, we're shooting a full range of motion. Go through little pulses like this. Let's go all the way to the floor. Keep the elbows in the same spot. Fully extend as you come up. Now, we're having the weight above your chest. You actually want your arms on an angle. Five, seven more. Seven, push. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Back on the squat and kick. Now, push your hands feet when you do the squats. But I want you to make sure that you're really going for a nice deep squat. So again, coming down, coming up, and this, or this. Let's go, 16 more. Keep down, push, again, squatting down, coming up, 14 more. You finish it with your form, if I can't see you, there's someone else in the room with you, make sure they're checking your form. All right. Breathing in, breathing out, four in motion. We had an easy, grab it every way. Push, push, six more. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Back here, go both side, you guys. Keep on here. Exos reach forward. Inhale as we come down. Of well, course, if you need any modifications, if that's too easy or too hard, put it in the chat. Three more here. Three. Again, okay, if I want to go faster, go faster. You can put as much intensity as you want. On this side. All right, so here, exhale as you come up, inhale as you come down. Breathing in, breathing out. One more for me. Four, three, two, and one. All right, last thing here is one of those overhead triceps. Grab your heaviest weight, all right, extend it up. Keep right here, you lay your arms at an angle, you actually don't want to walk in front of you. If you can also do two dumbbells, that's fine too. Let's go for 50. Starting in three, two, and one. Push, one, two, Nine. 10, reaching down, 11, push, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Excellent. Here, we're going to get a quick water break. Your first being the assistance or modification, let me know. If you're unsure what you're born, I'd love to see your cameras on so we can all pump each other up. Also, I can help with your form. We'll take 20 more seconds. All right. I'm gonna call some people. <laughs> totally fine. Make sure you're doing your best, that's all. All right.
Can you hear it? We're doing some kettlebell swings. Now, if you have little back issues, we're going to do a deadlift instead. I can show you both. You need to start right away if you know what you're doing. If you're unsure, watch what I'm doing. Make sure you have a kettlebell, you can easily use a dumbbell for this. So here, you can swing, keep planting shoulders back, here, pushing through. Very key part, my shins are straight the whole time. So even if I go deeper, my shins are straight. I, I'm not squatting, my knees aren't going forward. My shins are straight, my back is flat, I'm pushing through my hips to come up. Now, if your low back doesn't agree with this, you deadlift. You just slowly come down, slowly come up. Sitting in here, go, you don't have to go to the floor, take a hand, great. You don't have to go. There's 20 more seconds of whatever form you want. So you're going for swings, or are you going for deadlifts? And if you're unsure what I of those, let me know, and I can show you what their alternatives. Either the swing, or the deadlift. You have seven more seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, we're gonna go on our mats. We're gonna go for a plank and pullover. So you any heavy dumbbell? I'm going to go for 20 and go for as many as you like. The dumbbell is underneath my supporting arm. So my, the dumbbell is on my left side. So my right arm is going to grab the weight and pull it towards my right. So here. Pull me across, support. Across, support. I'll show you from the top down in case you're unsure about this movement. So here, pull the weight of the supporting arm. So you pull it away from the supporting them. Support yourself, pull away from it. Support yourself, pull away. I'll do 10 more, keep going. Seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Here, we're actually going to do chest fly. So now we get into heavy weight. We're holding over our chest and not above our face. I'll be using 15s. You can use whatever you have lying around. Here, we're going to slide face up. Make sure the weight's above your chest, not above your face. Here, coming down, coming up. And again. Not above your face, not above your chin, but above your chest. Inhale as you come in, exhale as you close. And if I make it easier, you can bend your elbows like this, but that makes it easier. I'll show you from the top. This is the easy version, and this is the harder version. So coming up, reaching down, coming out. Breathing in, breathing out. If I make it easier, you do this. So I five more. So five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Back on swings or deadlifts. So you have two options. Again, swing or deadlift, I'll show you both. If you know what you're doing, you can go ahead and get started. You have 45 seconds. If you're not sure, I'll show you both. So for deadlift, Slowly reaching down, coming up, pushing through the bum, pushing those hips forward. So sliding back, and again, our shins are straight the whole time. So the swing, same thing, just keep your core firm. Down, through the hips. Down, through the hips. Make sure your back is flat and no punch as you hunch over. You're going to squeeze back your shoulders, through the hips to come up. 10 seconds for everyone, whatever form you want. And four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Back in our mats. Go to that plank and pull over. Make sure the weight is under your supporting arm. So I need the weight to my left arm, so my right hand is going to grab the weight. So underneath my left, my right hand grabs the weight, pulls it across.
So I have 10 more, we do as many as you like. Three, don't do this. 
That's not what I want to see. Reach. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Other side. Two. Four. Five. Nine. Ten, two more. And twelve. Perfect. Back to the hit tap. We are our elbows, like straight, hit side to side. I'm going for 20. Go for as many of those you like. If you find it easy, go faster. If you find it uh, hard, go slower. Or just hold the play. One, two. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Flip me over. Do that single leg, hip bridge and leg. We find it easy, grab a heavy weight. We find it hard, ditch the weight. Either one's five. Leg in, leg out. Exhale as you push, inhale as you come down. Two more. Two, one more. And one. Let's go. Other side. Push one right into it. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more, and twelve. Perfect. You're directly back from the bottom up now. So do a single leg desert. We have three options for difficulty. You can do it with other weights, and you're just reaching out, coming in. You can add a single weight, You're reaching down, coming up, or if you want to make it intense, add a kick. So here, reach, kick up, reach, kick. And if you choose your difficulty, you choose your intensity. Trying to go easier, no weight. Medium, move the weight, hard, add the kick. I have 11 more on this side. So 11. So you can choose your intensity. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You can focus on increasing the weight, increasing the kick, whatever works for you. Four more for me. So four, three, two, and one. Other side. So you want to get easier? You can just body weight, medium, add the weight, hard, add the kick, make it a little more time effort. One, two, ten more for me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three more. Eleven, one more, reach, and twelve. Excellent. Here for the corner, we're going to go back on the floor. Give some certain shadow box. We're going to come down, come up, and punch, punch. Now, if you find you have low back issues and you can't come up, you can't just do a reverse crunch, do two punches, bring it back down. That's the easier version, or if you have low back issues. If you have no back issues, come up, punch, punch, no problem. If you want to make it extra difficult, Keep your legs up the whole time, but not to help them come up, just to keep them there. So don't go through this to keep them up, right? Don't swing them. 
If you can, keep it perfectly still. Bring yourself up just through your core. Punch, punch, come down. Come up, punch, punch. So keep going, 25 per second, whatever difficulty you want. So easier, push, push, knee up, two punches. Hard, keep those legs up, but keep you in the same spot. Don't move them. And punch, punch as best you can. We have 15 more seconds. And three, two, and one. Excellent. Here we have a few options. We're going to go for tap push ups. We have a few options. So here, to the knees, push up, tap, do the toes, push, tap. It's going to make it extra hard. You can add a little bit of a twist at the end. So I'll show you. So you go push up, tap, reach. Down, push up, tap, reach. We're going to make it extra hard, add some extra movement, and shoulder stability. Let the difficulty works for you. 30 more seconds. Again, from the knees, from the toes, or add a twist as you come up and down. Either one's five. 20 more seconds. So again, from the knees, from the toes, or from the toes, come up, down. And sitting here, range of motion all the way down, all the way up. And five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up. Back to the single leg deadlift. So feel free to reach down, tuck the kick, or just move no way at all. Starting in three, two, and one. Pick it inside. Add a kick or just stabilize. That's 10 more to go. So 10, 9, 8, 7. Of course, find it easy. Grab a heavier weight. Other side for me. So in 3, 2, and one. Four more. If you're going to go a little faster, a little slower, go at your own pace. And one more. And one. Excellent. Back in your hats. We're doing some punches. We have a few options. We're going to go for 40 seconds, starting now. So easy. Punch, punch, bring your legs in out. Medium, come up. And then hard. Keep the legs up. And your legs don't move. So anyone knows they're fine? We have 25 seconds left. And three, two, one. Flip me over. Go for those push ups. So make it easy. To the knees or modified is fine. Modified push ups to the knees. Bring your one to the toes and tap your shoulder or hard and add a twist. And then we'll land and into that deep push up. So I'll show you all three. So keep going. 40 more seconds. So down, modified, unmodified. And then here, you can come up. Twist, then as you land, we're going right into the low push up. So press and open up. Again, from the ground though, then press, come up, then right into a deep and press. Good. 50 more seconds, no matter what form you're doing. We're going to inhale as you come in, exhale as you press, chest to ground every time. Under chin, mighty nose is sticking out, 
Head alignment, chest to ground. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Take a little bit of a water break. We were the last little bit. Other way. If you have any last minute requests, now is the time to make them. Quick check here. Nothing. All right. Well, let's do our last two then. Here, we're doing a bit more core. We're going to go for a single arm, half get up. You can do this either with the weight or without a weight. If they both are still too much, we'll go back to that reverse crunch. I'll show you all the variations. So, here, down to medium to heavy weight. To the other side here. Core engaged. This arm is above my shoulder. As I come up, this arm stays above my shoulder. So as I'm coming up, that arm stays up. What I'm not doing is I'm not swinging it forward to come up. My arm, as I come up, the arm stays up the whole time. Very key. Now, this is difficult. Use your other arm for support. So press into the floor or press into your elbow to. Lift yourself up if you need that support. Now, if it's still too much, just try to come up and tap your knees. That's it. That's it. Just tap your knees. So here, I'm going to do five more with my left side. Let's switch over and do eight more with my right. So five more here. So five, four, three, two. And one. If that is easy, grab a heavier weight. Other side. One. Two. And try to keep it above your shoulder as best you can. Two more for me. Two. And one more. And one. Excellent. Not easy. Here we're going to come up. Yeah, a little bit of cardio. Good. Make some room. And from here, we're going to go for a curtsy. One, two, three. Curtsy. Now, if that's too much, just jog on the spot. That's the lower impact curtsy. So here, 35 seconds starting now. So curtsy down. One, two, three. Curtsy down. Three. One, two, three. Now, of course, to make it harder, lift those knees even higher. 20 more seconds. Ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Three, two, and one. Last time, go for the half kick. Eight side. So I get three, two, and one. Halfway there, four more. Four. And one, two sides. Two more for me. 
Two, one more. And a one. All right, last time. We're going to skater, one, two, three. All right. Starting in four. Three, two, and one. Down. Down one, two, three. Try to go low. As you're comfortable. Fifteen more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it up. All right. Go for a quick run stretch. We're gonna open up to the hips a bit and work our way through. So here, feet together. Pull again. And three, two, one. Here, one leg up, one leg in. Three, two, one, two sides. Yeah, in the water structure, 
You're gonna do this motion. So your arm is across your body and your palm is facing out. So your palm facing out, that one gives the wall. Stretch along your shoulder and turn. If you don't have some kind of corner, you can just use the flat of the wall and turn it away. It's fine too, right? That's what we do. You can also choose a flat of any wall. Palm is towards the wall. You're gonna turn yourself away. That's fine too. So again, whatever you have, using just the wall, you're using the corner. So you're gonna switch sides. So palm face away from you. If you have a corner, use it. If not, the wall is fine too. You're gonna stretch, do it behind the arm and then your shoulder. Thank you so much for tuning in.